how he gonna get life? You know, he he ain't murder no one. People that murder people don't even get life. They came to my house and got him. So that was um, that was like five or six o'clock in the morning when they came and got him, and uh, they arrested him. So the next day, I went down there uh, to the court house, and I I don't remember who this lady was, but she, uh, she came to me and told me, you know, your son looking to serve life in prison. So I said, what did he do? And so she said, the third strike. So I ain't know nothing about no first, or no second, no third strike like that. So well, I was hurt. You know, I was hurt. And I... Uh, Every time I think about it, you know, I get so emotional. Uh, so we, uh, my husband and I, we went down there. Uh, he didn't have no bail or anything like that, you know, so we couldn't get him out. So going back and forth with the court, the day that he got sentenced, I didn't go because I couldn't take it because I knew he was going to get some time, but I didn't know that he was going to get life, you know. So when I uh, decided uh, once before I told you that uh, he was uh, not coming home, I said, after 10 years. Then that's when I then when I realized that he was gonna get life, and I used to say, um, "How he gonna get life? You know, he he ain't murder no one. People that murder people don't even get life. You know, so uh, I just took it one day at a time, and this is the time that." I'm glad somebody is helping him to try to get him to come home because uh, 23 years is a long time for him to be locked up. And uh, I want him to come home and be with his family, his daughter, Danielle. You know, she graduating out of uh, college. Uh, yes, yeah, she's going to be a registered nurse. So, like I say, he missed her eighth grade, twelfth grade. So hopefully, uh, he'll be home to see her graduate uh, out of nursing school. Well, I think that he should. Um, I think when he come home, hopefully that he will come home. That he will. Um, uh, most of the time, he probably would be spending with his daughter, you know. And he probably would find him a job. But, you know, he's going to stay here until he gets himself settled.
Yeah, I talk to him. Sometimes he called me two and three times a day. And I like when he called and said, hey, beautiful lady. You know, make me make my day go good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I hope that um, Obama look at this and uh, release him. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the basement. This is where he will be uh, living at. <laughs> the bathroom is over there. <laughs> <laughs>